Hey guys, how's it going? It's Thang and welcome to this video. As you can tell by the title, it is my Gritty Mix version 2.0. Um, as you know, we are always learning and understanding what is best and trying to have that happy medium for our succulent plants. Um, so with version 1 of the my Gritty Mix medium, it was, you know, with uh, aquarium substrate, gravel, volcanic soil, and coconut fiber to mix in to retain some water but not that much water. And that really helped during the winter time because it allowed me to water my plants every single day without having to worry morning and nighttime without having to worry about it you know retaining too much water and having root rot and dying because that's what happened to a lot of us is when we overwatered in the winter time and it just pretty much dies um, so it allowed me to do that um, except for I've learned a few things about that grainy mix um, so with that gritty mix, I'm pretty much emulating how the Koreans do it and that's pretty much hard growing. It's called, the term is called hard growing um, and also known as stressing our plants out to the max. And with this gritty mix, it's pretty much stressing our plants out to the max. Um, so when you are stressing out your succulents, which means that you are watering between watering is a longer longer period that means that the, the succulent leaves are going to be smaller and more chubbier and the succulent itself will be more compact and that is what happened to most of my succulents so I'm going to show you a few examples right here this is a sublicy whatever it's called um, it has become very very compact on the top you can see small and compact versus the older leaves down there those were bigger see how small and compact that is very very small compact right so is this one right here the top is very very small and compact you see that very very small compact versus the bottom leaves where it was bigger because the bottom leaves were in dirt soil very very small and compact you know um, so is this one right here I'm gonna keep showing to you so you see the difference between the top and then the bottom very very compact leaves on the top compact and chubbier leaves on top and then the bigger ones are more like you know thinner and wider um, this one right here as well you can see the bottom leaves are very very big right and the top parts are very compact and chubby um, yeah very compact and chubby and all of those are being stressed out and they have their colors and we talked about colors on the stream we'll talk about that in another video um, this one as well this one used to be really big but when I introduce it into the uh, gritty mix soil, it is very small and compact on the top. And this final example is this Calubra right here. This Calubra, okay, I love it. The bottom leaves are its original leaves from when it was in, you know, regular cactus soil uh, before I bought it. And the top here is since it's growing from when I put it into the gritty mix and during the winter time you can see how small and compact the leaves are on top. Um, so if it is your kind of thing where you like more small, compact, chubbier type of leaves, then by all means continue using the Grady Mix uh, because it helps to stress it out so much more versus you know putting them to normal soil and stressing them out, right? Um, like I said, it is your, if it is your thing, continue doing it. But for me, it is not my thing because I want them to flourish even more like grow even more right um, so for me we're just gonna modify my gritty mix a little bit by adding just enough soil back into it not not 50 50 you know just I think we're gonna do 30 30 percent uh, cactus soil and 70 percent gritty mix and that should be more than enough for it to flourish to retain more moisture and drink up more because when when this is this is this is uh, an very bluebird right here you know this is in its normal form big gigantic beautiful very 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 beautiful beautiful um echeveria you know big, it, it can become a little bit bigger than this i don't want something big like this to be small you know um that's my taste right if you like something small compact and chubby by all means not a problem there's honestly there's no wrong answer to what type of soil you use except for you have to use super drainage or drainage quick drainage soil so you cannot use potting soil potting soil is the wrong answer guys wrong answer um so let's go ahead and pour some of these 
um, some of these beautiful babies right here into this tray. As you can see, I've already converted some of them back into, I mean, converted them into version 2.0. So let's check this pot out with this Calubra. Um, this Calubra, I think also maybe because it is, it is also in a small pot. Yep, it's in a small pot as well. And it doesn't really have that much rooting. So when it doesn't have that much rooting, you can see how this Calubra itself doesn't really have that much root for a gigantic thing. I am gonna behead this, but I'm gonna behead this in another video. You can see that its root is growing out right there. So we want more of that cover right there up to their cover uh, so we're gonna we're going to re repot this in its new root it's a new it's a new pot anyways so we're gonna take all this out uh, do you see on the bottom it's still it's still watering you know but I don't I just, I just feel that that Calubra itself because it doesn't have that much root it's not growing that much um, it's not growing that much, so that's why it's still producing tiny little things because it can't absorb that much nutrients, right? So I think that's one of the problems with it. Other than that, it should be fine. It should have been fine. This, let's pull this out and see how this is. Let's see. Yeah, this rooting system did not have any new rooting system. So you see when it has some new rooting system as well. You see when, um, when I mentioned to you guys, when you put it into new, any... When you put it into any new type of medium, you have to get rid of the old rooting system because the old rooting system does not understand what to do with a new medium. So rather than trying to, you know, uh, half-ass it, cut off the root and let it regrow to adapt into the new medium. Okay, so if this was going into water, I would get rid of all this, th all this, all this thing and let it callus over two, four, four days, or even a week, and then put it in water and let it grow new roots to adapt to that situation. Um, so I think this is because this one also, yeah, it doesn't have that much great rooting. So that's probably one of the reasons why that's small. Uh, and also, you know, because summertime is coming, uh, summertime, summer loving, da 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 da. Summertime's coming also. Um, I don't want it to dry out too quickly. Um, so also you can see I'm putting the cocoa, cocoa fiber on the side. I don't really want it in the newer version 2.0 uh, because coconut fiber can turn into fungus and that's not good. And this one, this one is definitely rooted. You can tell that it's rooted because it won't, it, won't, it won't come out. Definitely rooted. Um, wow. Oh wow, definitely has new roots in here. So I think this one was gonna be okay later on, but that's okay. We're just going to change. This one, yeah, this one has nice new, kind of nice new roots. Um, yeah, so when you when you cut this off and when it has new roots, it's, it's, it's gonna be a very, very beautiful rooting system. Cause I've changed some of them into version two and some of them had Brooding system so huge and they're such tiny plants so huge um, I think it's also because we've been giving them root hormones as well mom Mom has been giving them root hormones, you know, it's mom Mom and me we're always giving them always hormones and stuff like that, right? <laughs> and as I mentioned, you know, it's it's always a learning experience always a learning experience uh, Whoa Whoa, this one is really rooting so well. This one's rooting very, very well too. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell, see? That has that rooting system. But we're gonna change you just a little bit. Just a little bit. See, the coconut fiber did help it to absorb moisture at the bottom. And because because even though there's moisture in the bottom, um, pretty much since the morning, because there's there's room for the uh, the roots to breathe, it won't root rot. Versus like being in super compacted dirt, um, it won't have enough room to breathe, and then it's gonna choke to death. Choke, choke, choke. Don't don't choke things to death, guys. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this as well. Don't need that really anymore. Okay, and this one. I might leave that one alone. I don't know. This one does not have a good rooting system, you can tell. This one, oh, this one, because this one, 
is a brand new rooting system. So see, see how how this rooting system is. This rooting system, that's new. That's brand new rooting system, right? Versus this is an old rooting system. I know you can't see. Bad focusing. Yeah. This is old rooting system. This is brand new rooting system. You can tell the difference. And and when you pull these out from the um, from the gradient mix, it looks so beautiful. I mean, girl, it looks beautiful. So that's what we're just gonna do today, and this one as well. Mmm. Oh, girl, this one, this one is good. Oh wow. Oh wow, you are stuck in there, aren't you? Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. This one is doing really well. You can tell how well it's doing. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. So if you guys feel that you're good with version 1.0, keep version 1.0. Don't worry about doing doing what I'm doing. You know. Do never ever worry about what I'm doing. Always learn. Always learn. Oh wow, it's absorbing a lot of the nutrients. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Wow. So you know this one is doing good, or oh, was now doing good. <laughs> now we're changing it up. Um, I've already converted most, uh, actually all of my Korean hybrids to version 2.0. Because honestly, with the Korean hybrids, I don't want them to stay small at the current time being. You know, I want them to grow so that I can make tons of babies out of them. And then I can like, hey, I can be like one of those succulents underground people, back alley people with my trench coat of succulents. It's like, psst, I know you like succulents. Come here. I got some food for you. Okay. So. Oh my god. I think that one had a lot of more sand than it needed to be. A lot more sand than needed to be. Okay. Let's put some of that back in. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, that that one had a lot of sand. Oh, a lot of sand, girl. Girl, I wanna, I don't know how like you guys like swim in the water when the sand goes up there. Can't imagine. Don't want to imagine. Okay. So, what type of soil do we put back into this mix? We can only one, use one type of soil, and that is cactus or succulent soil, soil mixture. You can buy the Miracle Grow one, they're not sponsoring me because, you know, I'm, I don't know. Uh, but this is what I use, cactus, uh, Miracle Cactus Soil. This soil does not clump up, and also this soil is also super fast drainage as well. And it's gone. Um, so as I mentioned, we don't need to put a lot back into it because the mixture itself is already good. As you can see, it already retained water since this morning, but because it can breathe, you know, it can breathe, um, it won't root rot unless there's like tons of like soil in there. So we won't need to move that much. So I think this is all that we really need. I didn't even put two handfuls. like. Probably one gigantic handful would have been it and that's it when you mix them together like this It should just look like this, you know, never let the soil overtake the gritty mix Once the soil overtakes the gritty mix then that's no bueno because you've pretty much gone back to soil The whole point of putting soil back in so that way it retains the water and also the nutrients as well So that way the for me anyways, I don't want them to be Small, compact, and chubby. I want them to be big, be big and beautiful. Big and beautiful, right? Big and beautiful, and that's that's all we need. So we don't need any more. At least I don't think we need any more. Do we? Need, does it look like we need? Nope. It looks good. It looks good to me. See, that's that's pretty much what we need. Oh, it shapes as a heart. It's all that we really need. You can see. That's all we need. Um, I should just maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There. 
and voila, version 2.0. It's still a super gritty mix. And I am enjoying this mix. I mean, I'm always, I'm always learning, you know. I'm always learning. It's, it's the journey that, that matters, and this is the journey. Versus the destination. It's all about the journey, guys, not the destination. You know, it's all about the journey. It's when you are sucking that dick. That is the journey. The destination doesn't really matter because it is your destination. Your destination that matters the most. All right. Okay. Um, let's put that aside because this is the one we put one and put in. Okay. Put it over there. Uh, put it over there. Put it over there. I still don't like dirt that much. I really hate dirt. But dirt is nature, so whatever. I, I'm just not really into dirt. I'm not a really dirt kind of guy. I walked into like one of the nurseries and they was like, Hey, do you got any wood chip? They're like, no, we don't have a tiny wood chip. I'm like, okay. They're like, okay, well we have some like, you know, dirt soil, you know. I'm like, I'm not into dirt. And they're like, okay. Okay. And I just walked out. <laughs> and they know me. They know me from that uh, the nursery uh, up the street. I'm like, I'm not really into dirt, guys. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not like Christina Aguilera. She's very dirty. She's dirty. You know, she's she's a dirty girl. A dirty song. D -d 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 dirty. Okay. Put this back in. I mean, you can always put top dressing on it so it doesn't look so fugly again. You know. Always put top dressing. This looks fugly now. That's okay. We can always dress you up, right? Always dress you up to make you prettier. Not a problem. Cover that ugly with beauty. Okay. And you go. And you go. And summer, spring is almost here. Actually, spring is already here. March, March 21st was spring. And you know what? It's been like... 8 degrees out 6 to 8 to 10 degrees outside uh, here in Ontario anyways and that's Celsius guys not Fahrenheit okay please convert that to Fahrenheit if you are using Fahrenheit still I don't know why y'all are you should be in Celsius um, but I don't know so let's put this back and you see this gorgeous color on here that's that's by that's by LED lights that's really by LED lights. Um, even though I am stressing the heck out of it. It's, I think it's getting new spurts, uh, growth spurt right now because spring and summer is the growth, uh, spring season is the growth spurt of Echeverias. And the summer, it's so it's growth growing season. Not like super growth spurt, but it's so it's growing season. So it's getting a nice growth spurt right now. So all of you tending to your Echeveria, you should see some nice growth spurts growth spurts I can't English guys honestly English is my second language and I failed English twice in high school I failed math once that's why I'm a Asian a failed Asian but I, I failed English twice and honestly English is not my second language I'd rather learn sign language and computer language than English which I do know a little bit of sign language I know I know, I know crazy bitch in sign language because I'm a how do I say crazy? I don't forgot crazy. I'm a bitch. Yes, I'm a bitch in sign language. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, if you want to contact me for succulents, uh, if you're in Ontario, Canada, please do contact me on my Facebook page, or my Instagram, or my Twitter, or my uh, Discord. But please don't ever call me or email because I don't really respond to those things at all I will respond to instant messaging you know YouTube social media really really fast because honestly I really don't call people anymore and I don't really check I don't really check email unless I'm hooking up with somebody you know or unless it's like the bill or something you know email is just like whatever it's not really for me anymore it's for other people but definitely not for me you know email is not my thing even though it's not my thing uh, but please do if you are interested in stuff because uh, I do have some of my hybrids currently propagating and they are propagating right now 
um, for the summertime because you can order them for me as well um, I think I might have a huge oh god I said I said I would not buy, buy Korean succulents anymore but I think I might have a huge Korean haul in April if you're interested let, let me know um, because I'll take your order down as well if when the time comes for it if when the time comes okay honey boo boo I love you I love you Kulibra I love you Mr. Kulibra I always wanted a Kulibra when I when I found out that it existed I always wanted one and I got one from like Italy Italy and then Kim's Nature just got one for $8 I had to pay like $40 for mine. The price you pay for beauty. Right? The price you pay for beauty. And that's pretty much about it. It's still a super gritty mix underneath. You know, it's still a super, super gritty mix. But it is a gritty mix underneath. And now that it has more nutrients and more water retention, it's going to grow bigger, honey. It's going to grow much, much bigger. It's like, it's like, it's like when... When someone takes Viagra and the floodgates are open to their to their penis to their dick and all the flood po po flows to it, it's big, right? Nice, big, and juicy. That's what we want. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Oh no! Oh no! I damaged it by a little bit. Sucks. All right. So thank you so much for watching. My Grady Mix version 2.0, version 1.0 will be in the link in the description down below. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press like and let me know what you think about version 2.0 and our journey so far. What? And oh, I would I would go, Mwah. love you, but my hands are really dirty. So anyways, love ya. Oh, I just did it. Okay, love you. Bye.